game and wait yet i'm so terrified because i have no idea what the word or phrase is welcome back everyone it's me jack live to the monkey house and if you're just joining us and if you've never played this game before what's the word is the game where scrambled meg sends you all a secret message right there on your sirius xm receiver and i've got to guess it with the help of some wonderful contestants <laughs> I agree, audience. We got to butter scrambled eggs and these contestants up to try to make my job as easy as possible because I really have no idea what the word or phrase is that we're about to play for, and only one thing can save me some really great clues. Uh -huh. And now, let's meet not one, not three, but two contestants who are here to save my bacon. Oh, I wonder if the word is bacon. Give it up, me monkey knots, for Emily! It's Emily in Idaho, everybody! Hi! Well, Emily, welcome back to the Monkey House, and thank you for joining us. I really enjoyed you in uh, Tuesday's Mardi Gras parade, dressed up as a brand new chipmunk. Did you have fun in the parade? Um, probably. Yeah! I did I enjoy the song you played. Oh, good. yeah, that's right. We played Funky Town from Alvin and the Chipmunks. I honestly didn't even know we had that here at Kids Place Live. Well, Emily, I'm so excited to play this game. Now, do us a favor. Glance down at your Sirius XM receiver. Do you see the secret message there on your screen? Well, I've been usually using my laptop to listen to this show, and I'm still waiting for it to pop up. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, there, there's a little delay there, but you know what the secret word is. Uh, and everyone else listening, uh, you, if you glance down at your screen, you'll know the message that Scramble, or that, yeah, Scrambled Meg sent to Emily, and that Emily needs to get me to guess. But Emily, how about this? Why don't we just save ourselves a whole lot of time? Can you just tell me that message right now, please, so we can, I don't know, just hang out and talk about DuckTales or something? Why would I do that? Oh, well... Because I thought maybe you wanted to hang out and talk about DuckTales or something. Okay, fine. I guess we're going to play the game. Now, the audience is uh, being a little punchy on today's show. So, Emily, you're going to have to listen very carefully. And if I tell you the correct answer, you have to tell me that I'm right, okay? Okay. You've got to tell me. And now let's lower you down into the high anxiety room. Give me your first clue, Emily, in three, two, one, go! Well, it's something you ride, for one thing. Something you ride? Um, oh, is it the Gravitron? That thing that makes you stick to the walls at the fair? No. Well, it's worth a shot. Okay, n another hint. Another hint, please. It's popular among many people. <sighs> something you ride that's popular along... <laughs> Oh, is it coattails? You know, like how you can write coattails into a, a situation? Is, is that it? Coattails? No. That does seem popular with a lot of people. Okay, Emily, try again. Maybe the third time's the charm. Well, it has to do with water and an activity and maybe even a song from Beach Boys. Oh, okay. So wait, this is something that's popular with a lot of people. Something that has to do with water. You can ride it. Boy, you gave me so many clues in that last clue. That was like four clues in one. The Beach Boys have a song about it. And this is coming from Scrambled Megs, too, even though you're giving me the clues. Scrambled Megs, famously, who lives in California, is the one that thought of this. Um, I'm starting to think this is like a beach-related thing. Is that possible, Emily? Is it beach-related? Uh-huh. You're getting closer. I, okay. Uh, is it uh, Is it a snorkel? Not, not really. Try again. I guess you can't ride a snorkel, Alicia. You shouldn't. Um, uh, is it a boogie board? Almost. Is it a surfboard? Correct. Oh, my God, an audience! The answer is surfboard! Oh, my gosh, and you know what that means, Emily? That means we just won the game. Surfboard! I love it! Are there a lot of surfing opportunities in Idaho where you live, Emily? I don't think so. Not a whole lot. And I knew the word by memory. Oh, very nice. I want a t-shirt that says Surf Idaho. I think that would be really fun. <laughs> and if anyone knows, 
you got to call us and let us know. we got to know if there's any good surfing to be had in Idaho near Emily's house. But in the meantime, Emily, you did it. You got us to the finish line. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. Thank you. L let's do it again. There goes Emily back to the surfy beaches of Idaho. <laughs> it's not a great season for surfing in Idaho.